Hello, good evening, welcome to another photographic trip. Tonight I'm just uh, south of Leeds, Stirling. I'm going to do some shots of the railhead treatment train, RHTT. There's a couple of 68s coming down from, uh, from York and uh, I'm going to try and get some shots of those before it gets too dark. Right, let's go! Overlooking Leeds Freightliner Terminal, waiting for the couple of 66s. Uh, they should stop at those couple of signals down there for about 20 minutes, which should give me enough time to get to the next bridge along. Right, I've made it. But uh, in typical fashion, I was expecting or hoping for a better sunset. It's clouds that are rolling in. There's rain coming in from the west, so I'm not going to get the sunset that I was hoping for and it's gone pretty dark. come to Woodlesford to uh, get the railhead treatment train going into Leeds and try and I'm going to try and do the same thing again tonight and hopefully there's a better bit of light and a better sunset so we'll uh, hopefully get a bit of luck later on but there's a couple of freights through um, which I'm just trying to get beforehand there's a freight liner and a, a class 60 and I'll get me uh, Locomotive classes last right today. I don't know what I was talking about, a 68. It was a 66, you lunatic. Anyway, I'll get the camera set up. I think the first one through is a class 60, 6011 I think it is, on the new big into uh, Tees Yard. Uh, it's come down the Settle Carlisle this morning, and then there's a freight liner I think coming up from Felixstowe into the Sturton. So we'll, we'll get a shot of those two, and then hopefully the uh, railhead treatment train a little bit later. So, uh, hopefully, more luck with the light and the sunshine. Fingers crossed. Still at Woodlesford, but we've moved on to the Leeds bound platform. The uh, railhead treatment train, it's at Castleford at the moment, and I think it's going to follow a Nottingley to Leeds train through. Uh, I'm going to set the camera up, and my plan is whether it works, who knows I'm going to try and do a focus stack of some of these leaves and the wall, what have you. So I'm going to get pretty low down there, try and get some of the leaves in the foreground, and try and get the leaves not in focus, platform in focus and the train in focus. So that might be, it might end up being uh, three or four shots, maybe more, to uh, to join together and try and get all that lot into uh, into a composition and in focus. But uh, it might work, who knows. But the light's a bit better now, better than last night. So there's blue sky. So the plan is, as soon as this has gone through, back up the gear, get in the car, drive into Leeds, try and race the, uh, the train into Leeds so that uh, we can do the similar shot that we were trying to do last night and hopefully we get a, a decent sunset that uh, we didn't get last night. And I'll get the train drive the 66s, not the 68s. Right, I'm going to set up, let's see how this goes. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm focus stacking a number of shots. So I'm going to take a number of images, moving the focus point 
along the platform. So I'm working at focusing along the leaves here and I'm focusing down the platform. And what I'll do then in Photoshop is I'll make a base image without the train because the settings that I've got here, so I'm on one one hundredth of a second F6.3 ISO 200. Now when the train goes through I'm probably going to need something like um, one one thousandth or one eight hundredth of a second to stop the train so the ISO is going to have to shoot up. So it probably won't be a, a, a good a quality image but if I get this base image um, best quality I can I can put the train on top of that and you don't really notice then that the train is is slightly uh, slightly noisy It was squirting stuff all over and I didn't want the cameras to get covered in uh, in the treatments. Right, we've got to pack up because we've got to chase that thing into Leeds now. Made it and what a difference a day makes. Still got loads of traffic though. Yeah, there's a de hopefully there's a decent sunset over Leeds tonight so I'm just going to get the camera tripod and get myself set up. Uh, the train's not coming yet so we've, uh, we've got plenty of time. Only should be a minute or two now. And I hope the sky stays like that. It's absolutely what a difference! What a difference a day makes. Well, there you are. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I did. A couple of <laughs> a couple of nights chasing the uh, railhead treatment train. The nights are drawing in now. There's, there's only the first this week in October where uh, you can do it. Because next week and the week after the lights going to be gone, so I have to look for somewhere else. So I'll see where I go and, uh, and follow me along. But of course, don't forget. If you enjoy this, because I enjoy putting them together actually and I enjoy taking the photographs, uh, like it, comment and, uh, and subscribe and uh, I'll see what other adventures that uh, I can come up with as we head into autumn. Uh, got a few ideas bubbling. But for now, have a lovely evening and I shall uh, see you later. Bye bye.